not smart, not assisted, completely driverless. Chongqing becoming the first city in China to allow robo-taxis to operate on its streets and collect a fare. The service isn't available everywhere just yet. It's restricted to a 30-square-kilometer range in a quieter part of Chongqing and only operates between 9.30 and 4.30. For internet giant Baidu, who was granted the permit, it's come after nearly a decade of testing. In the nine years Baidu has been investing in autonomous driving, we've test-driven 32 million kilometers. For Baidu, there has been the foundation, and the company operates on the principle of safety first so it can meet the challenges of China's complex road conditions. The company's Apollo Go cars have achieved level 4 automation, meaning they can deal with most driving situations themselves. But though the technology is getting more advanced, there's the issue of consumer trust. One of the concerns that consumers may have is about safety. And what robotaxi developers should do is to put safety at the first place to use, for example, more technologies like percep uh, perception redundancy and vehicle to everything technology to ensure safety. While these self-driving cars mightn't replace our cars anytime soon, the technology may become more widespread in other ways. For example, delivery robots, you can already see them in some areas, particularly in universities. And autonomous trucks, they operate in a less complex environment than robot taxis in urban areas. So we have seen some measures like Too Simple is aiming to expand its delivery network in the, uh, to more U.S. states within the short term. So yeah, that's the two, two typical applications. For Baidu, the plan is also expansion to roll out its robo-taxis commercially across China. Uh, the broader strategy is to launch in 65 cities by 2025 and 100 by 2030 to provide this kind of driverless ride-hailing service. In the meantime, a taste of the not-too-distant future.